Moving on to respiratory word roots. Okay, so the respiratory system, we're talking lungs, trachea, nose, uh, maybe the mouth, uh, larynx, epiglottis, all that, all that fun stuff. So let's get to work, right? Uh, embolo, like an embolus. What is an embolus? Hmm. Like an embolism, right? So what are we what are we referring to? Why why is an embolus such a serious thing? An embolus can block a blood vessel, right? Can restrict blood flow. Embolo means plug. So it's like plugging something, plugging a plugging a tube or something and preventing blood from flowing into that area. Now this respiratory word root because we can have an embolus in the lungs and that can be extremely dangerous right um, you've got to be able to get oxygen in and out and if you have an embolus in your lungs you're not going to be able to do that very well it can be, can be life-threatening uh, an embolus in the lung pulmonary uh, embolus not a good thing right so embolo means plug so if, if you see the term embolus, it's something that is plugging something else and, um, and preventing blood flow, efficient blood flow. Okay, emphyso, like emphysema. Now, th this kind of describes what happens to the alveoli with emphysema. Okay, so the alveoli look like little clusters of grapes, right? But when the alveoli start to degenerate uh, from from chronic irritation, stuff like cigarette smoking causes emphysema, causes the alveoli to lose a lot of surface area and then it distends. So it goes from a lot of little little clusters that have, has a lot of surface area to one big thing that has a lot less surface area. So it looks like it inflates. So emphyso means inflate. So emphysema is the alveoli inflating or distending and losing a lot of the surface area. So it's a lot harder to, for, to get oxygen into the blood and to get carbon dioxide out of the blood when somebody has emphysema, okay? Moving on, uh, phono, like telephone. What, what, do we, what do we do with a telephone? Telephone, you put it up to your ear to do what? To listen to sounds that are coming out of it, right? So telephone produces sounds that you can hear. Phono means sound, okay? Uh, what about pneumo, like pneumothorax or pneumonia? Hmm, what, are the, what, what structure? What's the, what's the prime structure of the respiratory system, of course? It is the lung. Okay, so pneumothorax is, you, know, you, you have a punctured lung and then an air bubble gets stuck inside the chest. So it's kind of like a, like a deflated lung situation can, can result in a pneumothorax. Um, pneumonia is bacterial infection of the lungs. You have an, ex, an excessive amount of, of, of fluids being produced in your lungs that kind of fill your alveoli. If you don't want, don't want, pneumonia sucks. I hate pneumonia. I've only had it a couple times, but uh, I also have asthma, so it's a lot worse uh, than just a normal infection for me personally. Okay, moving on. Pulmo. Pulmo, like uh, pulmonary embolism. You know, we just talked about that. Pulmonary edema. Pulmonary arteries, pulmonary veins. Where, where, where do the pulmonary arteries go from the heart? They carry deoxygenated blood and they take that deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Okay, so pneumo and pulmo both mean lung. So pulmonary refers to the lungs. My wife works in a pulmonary office at the local hospital. Um, she doesn't work at the pneumo office, pulmo, pulmonary office, um, to lungs. Okay, so pneumo and pulmo both mean lung. Um, moving on, rhino, like a rhinoplasty or, or rhinitis. 
what are, what is rhinitis? Inflammation of itis means inflammation. Rhine means like a rhino. Think of a rhinoceros, right? What's what's a defining feature of a of a rhinoceros? The big horn on the nose, right? Rhinitis is inflammation of the nose. Rhinoplasty, so plastic surgery performed on the nose, right? Any reconstructive surgery of the nose. Um, so rhino means nose. Just think of a rhinoceros with a big horn nose. Uh, moving on, spiro, like spirometry, spirometer. I've, act I've actually had that done. Like I said, I have asthma, so I went to a, a pulmonary doctor. Uh, back in 2019 and have had a pulmonary function test done just to see how well I breathe. Um, I breathe, I breathe pretty well. I'm, I'm in pretty good shape, pretty good shape. Anyway, spirometry is a test that they had me do. Um, with spir a spirometer, they give you like a, a tube that you put in your mouth and they clamp your nose and then you breathe out as hard as you can. Spirometer measures how much air you're actually breathing or exhaling, how, you know, the force of you exhaling. Uh, so spiro means breathe. Uh, so a spirometer measures your breathing. Okay. Spirometry, medical, um, medical practice, measuring the, the breathing. You get it. Uh, okay. Moving on. Stetho, like a stethoscope. Stethoscope, something you put where... Stethoscope, you know, as as the bell, the the um, tube goes into the ears, you get to hear the heart beat. But where do you mainly place a stethoscope? Mainly place place it on the chest, right? So a stethoscope, you're hearing things by pressing it up against the chest, right? Let's you hear by pressing against the chest. Let's hear the heartbeat. Let's hear the uh, lung function. Um, you can also use it on the abdomen, but in general, chest. Right? So stepho, chest. Okay. What about thoraco? Thoraco. Uh, it kind of sounds like a dinosaur, doesn't it? Thoraco. Um, like, a, like a thorax. Thorax. What is a thorax? Thoracic vertebrae is another example. Thoracic means referring to thoracic, referring to the thorax. What is the thorax? The thorax is the chest. Okay. So in, in um, insects that have, that are invertebrates, of course, um, they have a thorax and that's where the majority of their internal organs are. Like, like spider has a thorax. Right, an ant has a thorax, a chest area. Um, so thoraco means chest. So thoracic vertebrae are the 12 vertebrae that we would find in the region of the chest, right? Thoracic vertebrae. So you see where the rib cage is, the thoracic vertebrae kind of lines up with the rib cage, doesn't it? The chest, thoracic vertebrae, chest, thorax, chest, okay. So I think that just about does it for the respiratory word roots.